Well, we're still looking at St. John's. Actually, they're playing Yale right now. The score is 6-4 to four in the second period. Uh, I think they're a fairly young team. They had pretty good graduation at the, at the attack end of the field. Uh, so we're trying to figure them out. They're young. You know, their record hasn't been great, but they've been in a few of the games pretty close. Uh, so we're, you know, we've got to come down to Atlanta mentally prepared to play them. Do you have to, I mean, obviously y'all are used to being up near the top of the polls. Do you have to say anything to the guys, you know, when rankings come out like that? Uh, you know, they really don't mean anything this time of year. They could change ten times between now and uh, the Final Four. If, if it helps uh, create some buzz as far as men's lacrosse and getting some more people in the Carrier Dome to watch us play, it's, it's all great. But uh, you, you want to be number one at Memorial Day. What about as far as this weekend being that St. John's isn't the Hopkins or Dukes of the world? You know, do you have to kind of refocus the guys at all? I think we do. I think we have to uh, get them prepared to, first of all, know who St. John's is, know their matchups personnel-wise, clears, rides, offense, defense, and then work on the emotional part of the game. Coach, with Derek, this Sunday scoring a second goal not on a man-up this year. Do you maybe see his offensive game expanding past just a man-up specialist? Our, our Derek? Derek DeJoe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, he uh, got some good runs in the midfield, which was good to see. Uh, we, you know, we've got the second and third midfield, and our third middies aren't that far off of our second middies. So it was great that we got them in a, in a big game like Virginia. And I think the more experience that he gets, the more time he's going to get on the field. What about him, his characteristics on the field specifically make him such a good man of specialist? Besides just his hard shot, I know we talked about that a little bit. Well, it's his shooting, his accuracy has improved, and I think the decision making has improved. I think in the past we've had that shot, but he hasn't always made the right decisions with the ball, and we're really starting to see him come into his own now. And would you say he easily has a hard shot on the team, or are there a couple other things? Uh, he's, he's, he's in the top two or three, yes. Coach, I think as a player, it's easy to be caught up in the whole top ranking in the country. Uh, you know, I think our guys, uh, you know, have stayed pretty focused. Uh, you know, we'll see going forward. Uh, you know, last year uh, we went to the playoffs, the number two team in the country. So that, uh, you know, we're used to having that target on our back. Mm -hmm. And Ben told me that he thought this team was best in the country. Do you agree? Oh, I, you know, I think there are a lot of good teams out there right now. And, uh, you know, the, the, the top four are, could be very competitive. And we'll find out in the next few weeks, I'm mm -hmm. sure, going against some of the teams that we're going against. Mm -hmm.